Namaste students. Welcome to our previous class. In the previous class we learnt about the characteristics of materials. We learnt how to sort various materials depending upon the following terms that is whether they are flexible or rigid, whether they are hard or soft, whether they shine or whether they are dull. We try to sort things under these terms. In today's class, we are going to learn how materials act in water. Right students? So, on the screen you can see this balloon like, okay, it is used to swim in water, right, float on water, okay. So, this uh, horse shaped balloon kind of thing which has air in it, okay, used to float on water. How is this floating on water? Let us learn. We already know that water is important for all of us. Today, we will identify how different materials act differently in water. For today's lesson, for the activity, the resources we need are a spoon of sugar, a spoon of salt, an iron nail, a stone, a plastic ball, a leaf, a spoon, a big bowl with water. Okay. The key words we are going to learn are floats. Floats means rests on the surface of a liquid. Sinks, fall slowly to a lower level in a liquid. So, looking at these pictures in the chart, you should guess whether these pictures float, sink or mix in water. Okay, look at the pictures and decide. Sugar and salt, they mix in water. If you take a spoon of sugar or salt and mix in water, it dissolves in water. The iron nail will sink in water. Even the rock there, the stone will sink. The ball which has air in it will float in water. The leaf also floats on water. Right? Now, let us watch this video. Different things act differently in water. Salt and sugar mix in water. Iron nail sinks in water. Leaf and ball float in water. So from the video we understood the sugar and salt. If you mix them in water they will dissolve whereas iron nail will sink in water. The leaf and the ball float in water. Right? Which thing Okay, now it's time for some Which things did you see float, sink and mix in water? We saw the leaf and the ball floating, the iron nail sinking, the iron nail it sank, right? And sugar and salt got mixed in water. So let's summarize the answers. Sugar and salt mixed with water, iron nail and stone sank in water, plastic ball and leaf floated in water, right? What happens to things when we drop them in water? When you drop certain things in water, what happens? Things can float, sink or mix when dropped in water. Things like sugar, salt, lemon juice and ink mix in water whereas sand and stone 
don't. A plastic spoon floats in water whereas a metal spoon sinks in water. Which property of water is used to make lemonade? Okay, We all drink lemonade in summer season especially in summer season we enjoy right lime juice right lemonade is made by mixing sugar and salt and lemon juice in water the mixing property of sugar salt and lemon juice help us to make lemonade so we know that sugar and salt and lemon juice they get mixed in water so with this properties of these materials we are able to make the lemonade and enjoy it now let us open the worksheet beta all of you open to 8.3 materials in water put today's date question 1 circle the things that mix in water words are given in the help box salt sand, ink, coffee powder, cotton, sugar. So, among all of these, which material, which things mix in water? So, circle salt because it, get mix, it gets mixed in water. Sand does not. Ink you can circle because it gets mixed in water. Coffee powder, yes it gets mixed in water cotton no sugar yes so among these words you are going to circle salt ink coffee powder and sugar right question 2 write float next to the things that float float and sink next to the things that sink in water so here they have given you pictures of so many things petals rose petals metal ring, feather, brick, leaf and steel fork. What should we do? Which things float? Under, under it we are going to write float. Which things sink? Under them we are going to write sink. Right? Come on. Rose petals float. F-L-O-A-T float. Metal ring sinks. S I N K. Okay. Sink. Feather floats on water. F L O A T float. Brick sinks in water. S I N K sink. Leaf floats on water. F L O A T float. Steel fork sinks in water. So S I N K sink. Write neatly with a question 3. Why are swimming tubes made of plastic? Okay, just before on the screen, the first picture we saw, na? swimming tubes, why are they made of plastic? Okay, because plastic floats on water, right? So, pla the material plastic floats on water. So, that is the reason swimming tubes are made of plastic, right, properly. Next, so we will move to the content book now. Uh, open to the practice questions practice questions one Sam added something in water after stirring for two minutes it is not visible and the water became sweet what can it be imagine better you try this out take a glass of water add a spoon of sugar to it stir for two minutes okay mix with the spoon for two minutes now can you see the sugar which you added in the beginning no why because the sugar mixed in got mixed in water and you can't see it now but if you taste the water it will be very sweet so what did sam add you are going to write the answer like this sam added sugar okay sam added sugar to the water that is the answer write it Sam added sugar to the water. Second question, sort the materials as those that float in water. So once again they gave you the names of several things. Which things float in water? You are going to sort them. Okay, write them separately or just write on them F. We will do one thing. On these words, 
if these things float in water we are going to write f on them fl fl for float okay iron nail no it sinks in water sponge floats on water so next to this word sponge you write f l o a t float empty water bottle floats on water so empty water bottle you write f l o a t float next to that word brick sinks in water so leave it flower petal floats in water so next to this word flower petal write f l o a t float right students let's move to the third question third question many people put rose petals in a bowl of water for decoration which property of rose petals is used okay in many uh, houses we have seen that in a bowl of water they add some flowers or rose petals on it for decoration so which property of uh, is used okay of the petals okay the floating property okay the floating property of rose petals is used so next to the a question you write floating property f l o a t i n g floating property p o r o p e r t y property then b question b can we use metal balls in the same way as the rose petals why why not we can't use okay this is the answer we can't use metal balls for decoration as we have used the rose petals right rose petals float on water and uh, they are used for decoration but we can't use metal balls because they sink in water that is the answer so hope you have understood this lesson if you have any doubts do ask your evs teacher here ready to help you all thank you complete your content book and uh, workbook questions with a have a good day bye bye